What if there was a really easy way of you tapping into your unconscious mind? A way of making quicker decisions. So almost having a super fast highway, broadband, speedy broadband to your unconscious mind to understand what you really think about a matter. So many years ago, I was recovering from chronic fatigue, ME, and part of that recovery involved sorting limiting beliefs, past crap, um, not feeling like an imposter. But the other part of it, which is part of my SHINE coaching programme, which is E, which is about enable, enabling rest, relaxation, but also um, refueling, but refueling in a right way. And that was really important as part of that kind of healing journey, because I remember when originally I got diagnosed and I paid for private treatment and this nutritionalist basically said I had to give up all the good stuff. I mean, I'm talking alcohol, caffeine, wheat, sugar, um, salt, you name it, all the stuff, coffee, oh, that's caffeine, but all the stuff I loved, um, yeah, it was, it was a no-no, dairy as well, it was like, what is left to eat? And so off I went, I went to see a wonderful kinesiologist, a lady called Irene Lambert, and she used testing to establish, actually, these are the foods that will help you heal and these are the foods that will actually damage your recovery. And then I took things one step further because as an NLP practitioner, trainer, you teach people to use what we refer to as idiomotor signals. So a way of tapping into your own, what your unconscious mind is trying to communicate. And your unconscious mind is communicating all the time. So think about if you're in a meeting and you might notice that your shoulder is pointed towards the door and that's because the meeting's boring and you want to get out. So your unconscious mind is communicating what you really think. So, and body language is just a form of unconscious communication. So part of what I did way back then was I would test whether I could, for example, have a cup of coffee or whether I had sufficient energy to be able to go on a walk because uh, back in the day, I didn't have a lot of energy and we used to, sometimes they call it busting the boundaries. Sometimes you get a bit of energy and then you try and use it up all at once and then you take a step back. So rather than my trying to make conscious over analytical decisions, our unconscious mind has a blueprint for perfect health. So I just checked in on the unconscious mind. Um, I've used what I'm about to share with you for making decisions. The small print being, make sure that your what I'm about to teach you is well established before you go making big life decisions. Um, I've also been known to use these, this tool in restaurants. Do I want the beef or do I want the salmon? Uh, what, what does my body need in this restaurant? Um, so there's all sorts of ways in which you can use this. Um, people that I've coached in the past, you'll be familiar with what I'm about to share. Um, and it's, it's just a really simple thing that you can do. So the other thing to say is that, so in terms of our mind, we are 1% conscious choice. If you're, if you're with a coach, you're 5% conscious choice, so if you're really self-aware. But all of our decisions, all of our uh, thoughts, behaviour, emotions, that all comes from our unconscious mind. So 95 to 99% of our actions, behaviours, our emotions, all of that is coming from your unconscious mind. So how cool would it be if we could tap into that to really understand what's going on and to make more aligned decisions, more congruent decisions, decisions that feel right. Um, so here we go. So before we do this exercise, let me, because your unconscious mind is listening, by the way, it's always listening. Um, my positive purpose and intention is to give you a tool where you can access what you really think. 
so that you can make better, more congruent, more aligned decisions in work and in life. Decisions that are aligned with your blueprint for perfect health, but also in line with your existing values and beliefs. Now, another bit of small print. So your unconscious mind is going to make decisions based on existing values and beliefs. So take, for example, if you've got an away from value, so a value that was born out of a negative experience in your childhood. So for example, one of my values is achievement and achievement comes from running away from a lack of achievement or underachievement at school because I was on the table. Um, so it will make decisions based, as I say, on your existing values. So you need a bit of self-awareness as well to use this tool. So um, step one is you are going to stand at the side like this and you're going to look straight ahead. Now, that is really important so that your eyes are looking forwards, not down, not up, but straight ahead. Now, this is to do with to ensure that you're not accessing all the thoughts whilst you are um, eliciting your unconscious signals. So what we're actually going to do is elicit a yes and a no signal so that you can ask your unconscious mind about what you really think about certain matters. Now, uh, the other thing to mention as well is that this isn't about asking future questions. So it's not like a crystal ball. It's about asking about information that's already contained within your unconscious mind. So, um, so you stand straight, you're looking straight ahead. Now, what I would suggest you do is you pause the video, get yourself in this position and then listen to my instructions and wait and see what happens. So um, you, you stand straight, nice steady base and then you're going to listen to my instructions, which are as follows. So unconscious mind, I know you're listening. My positive purpose and intention is to give you a tool so that our conscious decisions are more in line with our unconscious mind. So um, in a moment, I'm gonna ask you for a yes signal. Now a yes signal, we're gonna ask your body to move in a particular direction. So for example, my yes signal is a movement back like that. This is me consciously doing it. And my no signal is a movement forward like that. This is me consciously doing it. You'll see there's a distinct difference in the quality of the signal in a moment. So get ready to listen again. Stand still, see what happens. So unconscious mind, give me a signal for yes. Now, did you see? So it's that fast, my unconscious mind gave me a signal for yes before the verbal component reached the outside world. Now, your sway could be any direction. Whatever direction you get, it is entirely right for you. It will be automatic. It will feel almost like a bit of a magnetic pull. So we're always polite. Thank you, unconscious mind. Next, what we're going to do is say, unconscious mind, give me an alternative signal for no. And you can see that again, my no, my no signal is a bit like I sway a bit and then I'll go forward. And that's it. So once you've got your signal, so every time you want to use your signal and ask your unconscious mind a question. So it might be, should I apply for this job? Should I um, go for this client? Should I invest in this um, business opportunity? Something like that. Um, so always re-elicit your signals when you're about to ask a question, unless your signals are well established. I've been using mine about 20 years. Um, so um, re-elicit your signals and then ask a closed question. So in other words, where you can get a yes or a no from the um, actual answer. So hope that helps. Any queries, answers in the chat. I'd love to help. My name's Estelle Reed, coach, trainer, author of Inner Brilliance How to Shine, helping you optimise performance, productivity, success and well-being. Like, follow, comment. That'd be great.